Now, here's another story we've been following for you. There are some unique boxes that have been popping up on the east side of Buffalo recently. Have you seen them? They look like mailboxes, but as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Lily Wood shows us now, they're meant to help people share ideas and to celebrate their community as well. It's here because it's out of place, but it's literally in the perfect place. If you've been on Buffalo's east side, you've probably seen mailboxes that look like this, this, or this. So people can come and take a selfie next to it, take a picture next to it, but they can also open it up and provide their input for what they desire or what they see in their neighborhood. LISC WNY and the Buffalo Center for Health Equity have placed 20 pride in place boxes painted by the community in Buffalo. I'm going to give this to you too if you don't mind. Thank you, sweetie. You're welcome. You're welcome. Project manager Alexa Wajed tells me these mailboxes aim to bring communities and generations together. We need to hear the voices of creatives and we also need to ensure that everybody recognizes that they have a voice and that voice needs to be shared. When you get to one of the mailboxes, you're going to want to open it up. And inside, there's a few prompts. Some of the prompts read, how do you envision the space? What type of development or programming would you like to see? And do you have any stories as a member of the community? Because I realize that a lot of black and brown history is not written down. But there's so many rich personal stories, especially within Buffalo, that we don't hear about. So what are some examples of things that people might write on? There's a blank, a blank empty lot, a, a green space that is in front of a box or even near a box or in your neighborhood or in your block. Maybe you can imagine a, a building there that has a cafe that serves, you know, bagels and muffins. Once you submit your postcard in the box, the stories will be featured on prideinplacebuffalo.com and the suggestions will be explored for future developments. The mailboxes will stay in place until at least the end of the summer. Reporting in Buffalo, Lilia Wood, 7 Eyewitness News.